Well guys, I'm back. This is Bob, the science guy from Flat Earth Camp Science. After a rather brutal and epic takedown of Antonio Subarats today, I thought I was done, but then he responded. So unfortunately, rather than take it like a man and admit that he was wrong, apologize, and admit the Earth is a sphere on his page as required, he doubled down. On the good side, his response was so absurd and so ridiculous that it is just comedy gold, and we're just going to have to have a look at it. You know, just to give you a little bit of history on this, Antonio put out a challenge on YouTube that said, basically, if we could show that the horizon was below the level of the observer, it would be a spherical Earth. No problem. Went ahead and did it. Uh, did an entire video on it and showed that not only was the horizon below level, uh, we also used the Isle of May observation from Miles Davis, which clearly shows the horizon is well below eye level. Unfortunately, there was a small error with the level, and uh, Antonio picked up on that and just mocked me uh, in a rebuttal video. So basically, I put out another video today with a water level, and utterly demolished his argument. Occasionally in science, an observation comes out that has a problem with it. Uh, that's why we do peer review. And if those problems are identified, we have a look. And if it's valid, we either withdraw the uh, observation, as I did, or we go out and get additional information. Well, I went ahead and did that. I put out a video three or four hours ago. It's got about 1,500 views on it now, where I conclusively showed that the angle to the horizon drops further and further below level the higher you go. You know, as you can see from the evidence here, it's really quite obvious. Uh, not only is the uh, horizon pretty much at level at sea level, as you go up to 1,200 feet, it starts to drop. And if you look off to the uh, right of the, the levels there, you can actually see an island at sea, and the level is higher than that island. Likewise, at 5,600 feet, you can see a mountain to the right, and the level is higher than the mountain. There is absolutely no question whatsoever that the horizon is below level from the observer's eye. Having clearly completed Antonio's challenge, I told him I expected him to post on his page that the Earth is a sphere, and uh, while he was at it, apologized for his mocking tone in the original video that he did in response to mine. Well, 1,500 views and 100 comments later, I see this from Antonio. Not only doesn't he acknowledge that I passed his challenge, he doubled down and said that I was wrong and posts two more videos proving that I'm wrong. Notice that he doesn't address the video posted at all. So, let's have a look at a couple of things. First, I have to inform Antonio that when you are in an airplane in flight, the ground is below you. Apparently, he doesn't get out of the house much and has never been on an airplane, uh, or else he would know this very obvious fact. It doesn't matter if it's a globe Earth or a flat Earth. If you look out an airplane window, you have to look down to the horizon. In fact, the only time that you could look out an airplane window and have zero depression of angle looking straight down towards the horizon is if the plane was in a bank, not in level flight. So, when the first video that he puts up actually shows a theodolite supposedly looking out an airplane window at the horizon and not showing any decrease in the angle, I became a little suspicious. Was this theodolite calibrated to level before he made this observation? Or did he calibrate it to zero at the horizon and then snap the photo? Given the fact that this is impossible on both a flat and a curved Earth, I kind of tend to believe that he just faked this. Now what's interesting is when you fake the results like this, you ought to at least fake them so that they're in your favor. This theodolite is reading three-tenths of a degree down. Come on, Tony. If you're going to fake something, at least fake it in your favor. But wait, there's more. There was a second video. Now while the first mistake was just a dishonest one, this one here just is stupidity personified. Well, I'm not going to put his second video up. The link's in the description. Uh, I had to uh, watch it, so you're going to have to feel some of my pain, too, and watch it for yourself. Basically, here's what it is. If you're looking at the horizon, which is that dot, 
on the right side of this image from the big triangle on the left side of the image and you have a small triangle or a building in between you. If you happen to be at a position where you are lined up with a dot or something or other on that middle building and you stand up, you're going to shift your perspective just enough that the horizon will appear to come up a little bit. Now you can see this effect pretty clearly by closing one of your eyes and looking at your thumb. Now close that eye and open up the other one and you'll see your thumb sh slightly shifts position even though it hasn't changed at all. Now this is not a Miles Davis level observation where you're lining up three objects at equal height and determining the curve of the earth. This is just a little trick of perspective from having a viewpoint slightly different it's basically the way a stereoscopic photograph works. Apparently this concept of stereoscopic vision or small changes in position changing the relative appearance of a distant object is beyond Tony's comprehension. Perhaps you should leave some comments here and explain it to him. I'm sure that he'll appreciate all the help that he can get. In the meantime, Antonio, why don't you just admit that your challenge was met, the Earth is a sphere, and just post that on your YouTube page. Take care.